Good afternoon, Bobcats, and welcome to BBTV. My name is John, and this is the news you came to see. Today is Monday, April 8th, 2019. As always, let's begin with our daily announcements. Attention eighth graders who attended the spring break New York City trip and seventh graders interested in going next year. Please mark your calendars for next Tuesday, the 16th. Eighth graders who attended should meet for a celebration at 6 p.m. in the library. Following, the seventh graders who would like to consider going next year should meet at 7 p.m. also in the library. Please see Ms. Rosenberg and Mr. Daughtery with any questions. Those are the announcements for today. Now we take you to the BBTV News Dex for a quick story at that you need to know. Retrievers. That's because it's one of only two cities in the United States that has a dedicated training facility to create comfort dogs. A charity created by Christ Lutheran Church trains goat retrievers to help those in need. Recently, a new batch of puppies made their way to Nebraska City. The six dogs arrive to Grand Island when they are eight to ten weeks old, and then the organization provides training equipment, veterinarian care, and food for the animals. When fully trained, the dogs then go to churches where they're used by the ministry as comfort dogs, both locally and nationally. It takes nearly one year to train the animals and charity relies on the volunteers. Once certified, the comfort dogs go to the natural disasters to bring comfort to adults and children. The other clinic for these animals can be found in Chicago, Illinois. So Bobcats, it's time to form your opinion. Would you get too attached to the dogs if you train them for over a year? What's up, Bobcats? This is Deja in the BBTV Sports Zone bringing you coverage of all things happening in the world of sports. Today's focus will be all about the big weekend for March Madness. On Saturday, the Final Four took place with Virginia beating Auburn 63-62 and Texas Tech taking down Michigan State 61-51. Tonight, we have the national championship between Virginia and Texas Tech at 8.20 p.m. Since almost everyone had Duke in the championship, it's, a, it's pretty clear that the brackets are a mess. We went out and talked to some of our fellow Bobcats on the, to see what their brackets look like. I had Duke win, and even though I wasn't really rooting for them, I really thought they had it this year. I have Virginia winning the entire tournament. Uh, none of the people I predicted are in there, so good job, me. I was going for Duke and also Gonzaga because I like Gonzaga because it not steps to Bulldogs. Um, I personally like Gonzaga because like they have uh, like good talent. I had Gonzaga, Virginia, Kentucky, and I believe Duke. Duke, um, Gonzaga, Tennessee, and North Carolina. Duke, Tennessee, Florida State, and Gonzaga. Um, Tennessee, Gonzaga, Duke, um, Florida. Okay. I don't even remember. <laughs> My bracket was so bad that at one point I just threw it away and I, I think I had Duke. Good afternoon everyone. This is meteorologist Courtney here for your three-day forecast. It's finally feeling like spring and the high for today is 77 degrees with a low of 48. It cools down a little tomorrow with the high of 70 and a low of 40. Finally on Wednesday for our last day of school for the week, the high is 61 and the low is 49. Hi Bobcats, thanks for joining me for today's Eyes on Buffett where we check out things going on in the lives of our Bobcats. Big news came out recently that the 7th and 8th grade dance is officially happening. We don't know a lot of details, but we do know that it will be taking place on May 3rd during Block 910 and Bacchad Den. We sat down with student council members to find out more. Um, well, I'm in student council, so right now I know like 
what we're like the process of how we're doing it, I know it's going to be on May 3rd. I think it starts at 125 and it ends at 255. Um, the theme is going to be glow in the dark. Uh, well, some like basic things like girls like completely can't wear heels. Like I'm not they're going to get in trouble. Um, I know we're going to have a spirit week leading up to the dance. It's going to be like the theme is like road trip kind of. So like each day we're going to have a stay and then like things to do with that I don't know how to explain that but um, yeah right now we're just planning the dance like we have the day and like the times and everything and the theme but right now we're just planning like um, decorations like concessions like what's gonna be available in the cafeteria and just things like that I know that we're having a spirit week that week so it'll be like those four days before the dance and then the dance and then I know that we're having a photo booth again. Hey Bobcats, this is Christina and it looks like our wheel has landed on I Want That. For today's segment, we will be taking a look at some of the new tech. Recently, Samsung has released their new version of wireless earbuds. They are called the Samsung Galaxy Buds. These wireless AirPods have a hot price tag for them starting at $99, which will be very competitive with Apple's AirPods. One big difference between the Galaxy Buds and the AirPods are that the Galaxy Buds can charge wire wirelessly right on top of your phone. Another cool feature is that the Galaxy Buds are water resistant, and, they, and with a tap, you can switch, pause, or play your songs. It also has the option to let you listen to the background noise like traffic or people talking while you're also hearing your songs, making them much a safer place in public. Okay, Bobcats, now it's time to form your opinion. Since, the cheaper, since they're cheaper and have a better battery life, would you buy these new Galaxy Buds or AirPods? <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this edition of BBTV as much as we've enjoyed producing it. Signing off, this has been John. Have a great day, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow for more Buffett News.